Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to part 6 on CMS Blogging System. So, before we move any forward, uh, we just want to create some styles for our subheader out here on the bottom. So, without wasting any time, I'm going to move to my index.php file and this is somewhere we left this particular file, uh, file last time. So, I'm going to create a couple of more allies out here. Though we don't need any uh, subheaders out here on our dashboard, but still, uh, as we are styling them, we will do it here. So let's create any, you know, random allies. I'm going to say home, pages, and posts. Okay. And uh, just refresh. And let's see how they look. Okay. They all are, you know, looking really ugly, but that's fine. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go to my style sheet out here and submenu li and the submenu li a okay so very first I have to say submenu should float towards left okay and should have a width to hundred percent and uh, I want to give uh, I, I actually give some line height to this particular subheader as well because we gave the height to 70 now we also want some line height to you know center things out for LA I'm gonna say display in line okay and they should flow towards the left as well and out here I'm gonna say the LIA to have a padding to 10 pixels and give them list child to none okay refresh let's see how they look okay they look pretty fine right now here on the bottom and one more thing we can do is text decoration to none and you know give them some uh, you know very near to black color so I'm gonna say color to 1919 okay now they look fine and I'm gonna give them a background color for now only to see actually where they are right now so I'm gonna say C8 refresh and now we'll open my firebot if you see they, they do have you know some margin from the bottom so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say LI to have a margin top of uh, let's say three pixels yep three pixels seems pretty fine and uh, see a margin lift to two pixels okay that seems pretty fine as well so I'm just gonna copy it from here and I will paste it here and now we need uh, we need to change the font size as well to a bit bigger it's 11 right now we might change it to 12 so I'm gonna say font size to 12 pixels uh, that's fine let me reduce some padding yeah I think this look pretty fine so 8 to padding and 12 pixels would be our font size okay so I'm gonna just paste it out here margin top to say 4 uh, I believe five. I believe refresh. Okay, that's pretty fine. Now I'm gonna take the background off, and here I'm gonna create a class. I'm gonna say class selected should have a border to one pixel solid. Uh, black. Okay, and have a background to white okay so if I will add any class selected let's say to this one I want to say class selected refresh no it's it, it's looking pretty ugly <laughs> but that's fine guys I'm gonna take care of it uh, first I'm gonna you know take the butter I'm gonna say butter top to one pixel solid gray not black okay and then I'm gonna say butter lift 
to one pixel solid gray as well. Okay. And then I'm gonna say border right as well. So we're only gonna take the border uh, bottom away. So one pixel solid with a gray color. Okay, this is how it will look. If I will select this one, so this will look that way. So I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it here on the class selected. Once we will click any one of these with jQuery, we would be toggling the class selected. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna take all these li off because we don't need any sub menus for our dashboard. So I just took them off. So later, if you would be creating any of these of like these are the pages, we can actually use the subheader. So right now, <clears throat> we would be creating the page for the posts. So out here, I'm gonna create a new page. I'm gonna say uh posts.php okay i would be copying everything from my <coughs> index.php file and out here i would be creating some allies so out here i would be saying uh, uh, add new okay here i'm gonna say uh, view all and in the very last, I'm going to say uh, manage categories. Okay, so we would be having three sub menus for our post.php. I would be going to my header file and to the post. I'm going to say post.php. So come back, refresh, let's see what happens. So I'm going to hit post and it will come to this particular page which is add new view all or manage categories okay uh, that seems pretty fine now what we can do is we can write uh, some jQuery to handle you know some good toggling effects on this particular submenu so I will go back in my JS folder I would be creating a new file and uh, I'm gonna name it to custom.css I'm sorry custom.js okay First, I want to alert something to make sure that we are able to add this file successfully. Come here to header page, and I'm going to include it here. So I'm going to say source would be to the JS folder and the name of the file. So it says JS slash custom dot JS. Come back, refresh. Oh, it does not say hello. Hmm let's see why so i'm here to my post i'm going to my js folder around the custom document it should say refresh again no it does not say it's a dollar is not defined why is that i'll come to header and i have this particular file into my header which I, which I have a reference to the jQuery file. That seems pretty horrible. Okay, refresh now. Same thing. Let me copy it and paste it to my post.php. Okay, out here. Now refresh. Now it says, but it should say because I have the jQuery file to the header. Because I'm gonna, you know, check this particular thing out later. But right now we would be writing some functions for our uh, allies. Okay. So what I'm gonna say is uh, dollar id sub menu. Okay. Li dot click function. Once we would be clicking on it. So what I would be saying is. Uh, guys, if you are not sure about the jQuery's function, then you might have to go to jQuery.com and you will have to read about them there. But they are very simple. Let me explain to you. Dollar is actually a selector which will let you select any kind of a thing. So if I'll come to my post, we have an ID here called submenu. So here, 
this particular hash symbol as in CSS, you know, identifies an ID and I'm saying the ID submenu li. So if I'm clicking on any li which belongs to the period submenu, then do the following functions. So I'm going to say dollar. This, this means the particular thing we're going to click. So if I'm going to click on this one, this would be uh, equals to this. We are, if I'll click on view all, uh, it would be equals to this. If I'll click on this one, it would be equals to this. So this means the actual element we're going to click on. So I'm going to say this dot add class selected dot remove. Uh, okay, uh, I don't have to remove anything, right? Yeah, I don't have to remove anything. Then I'm going to say, uh, uh, okay, li dot remove class selected. Uh, remove class selected okay let's see if we get the same effects or not so if I'll click on it it does not do anything not sure why okay because we are clicking on a not the allies actually struggle is a problem Mm. Okay, first remove this and alert something to make sure that we are able to target the right thing. Refresh. Okay, let's do it. Now I'm going to say dollar this dot add class selected. Okay. So go back, refresh. Okay, it, it added that particular class to it. Okay. And now what I want to say is dollar lia dot remove class selected and let's have this particular thing on the top and this one on the bottom. Okay, refresh. Now still it's not adding yet. Now refresh. Now it will add it, but if I'll go to the next one, it's also adding to that one. So it's actually not taking off from the previous one. But if I'll say sub my menu lia that remove class selected and this one should add a class selected. It should work. <clears throat> I'll give me a second guys first. I want to return it to false. Refresh. Yeah, now it's working fine. Actually, I was not uh, returning it to false. There was a problem. If you see this particular symbol on the top, which is hash, um, if I click on it, it will not show that particular thing. And it's also, you know, returning false to its actual behavior. Uh, the actual behavior of an anchor link is to go somewhere. Um, we don't want an anchor link to do it. Uh, we want it to actually follow the function that we have created. So now, if you will see, it's working perfectly fine. Okay. And if you want, you can also, you know, add the same thing to the hover styles, but I believe I'm okay with the click function. So guys, that was something we created, you know, sub subheader menus and we have wrote a bit of jQuery out here. In the next video, we would be creating some grids for our actual post.php page where we would be creating the post and we would be, uh, we would be adding uh, a text editor there so it would be easy for us to actually create post so we will do all that in the next video and for now goodbye Bye -bye.